welcome back so today i am going to be talking about my first year at university um and my whole experience and how i dealt with some things and just in general how it went i don't know before i came to uni i watched a lot of them just you know to prepare myself because you know going to uni and moving out of your house if you're moving out of your house is a big step it, and it is you know something different and for a lot of people it can be very very overwhelming i've personally found comfort in watching those videos so i thought i'd make one myself just bear in mind you know my experience isn't identical to everyone else's a lot of people had a very very different experience at university than i did you know at least first year it's all too personal choices, personal tastes and stuff like that. But this is just how my year went. So let's start off with moving and living in a new place. So I actually didn't move that far. It was quite easy for me to move, you know, I got my parents and packed everything in a car. I didn't really take much because obviously uni rooms aren't that big. But I was in a position to be able to leave some stuff at home and then my parents being able to bring them to me the next day. So yeah, I was very lucky and I know some people don't get that because you know some people move up to like five hours away from their house if not more So I got very lucky in that and also living so close to home makes it much much easier to go see my parents I've been to see my parents a lot, you know connection from here Because obviously it's London. It's very very good So I have the opportunity to go visit my family quite a lot, which again isn't what some people are able to do um and in that sense, I got very, very lucky because if I ever felt homesick, if I ever just needed to go home for any reason, for example, laundry. I haven't done a single batch of laundry at uni this year because I had to do it by hand in my sink or I go home because there's no point of me paying a lot of money for this if I can just, you know, do it at home. Or do it in my sink you know that's just me I just never really I actually don't know why I never did my washing it's not like I like told myself you're not gonna do your washing at uni you're just gonna go home it just it just happened and you know it's the end of the year now what's the point of changing habits but yeah as I said living close to home did help with like any kind of homesickness which is another thing I can imagine a lot of people deal with. I personally felt quite prepared to move out at the time. I don't know, I kinda just wanted to get out of Stevenage. It wasn't my favorite place in the world and still isn't. Um, so I, you know, obviously I felt homesick a little bit. I am very close to my family, so not having them around me all the time was a bit hard but I got over it pretty quickly but I can imagine people who are very very close to home and always have been and also are very I would say introverted and spend a lot of time at home would find it harder than I did to adjust to live in holes but I might be wrong you know another thing you need to get used to is cooking for yourself unless you're on like you know the catered plan at uni, in which case you're fine. So I think cooking for yourself is like a basic life skill and you're gonna have to do it eventually in your life and I feel like being just like thrown into it and left in a situation where you kind of gotta do it otherwise you're a bit screwed um, is a very good way of learning how to do it. I mean I know a lot of people who just lived off frozen meals and I mean it's all up to your own taste if I did that I just gained so much weight at uni but I mean I am the kind of person who accidentally chokes on air and I gain 10 pounds so but yeah I personally for me cooking for myself was easy I'm a fast learner I baked a lot at home so it wasn't really something too tough to adjust to although I've been very lazy with cooking lately because it's been exams and I'm just so motivated to cook but I have to finish all the food that I have in the fridge so but you know that's definitely one of the things you will have to adjust to as well as just in general cleaning your own stuff if you're not used to it at home which you know some people obviously aren't also living with other people you've never met 
it's also going to be an adjustment. Now, your accommodation, you know, the people you will live with, unless you like rent privately and, you know, you chose your flatmates, fair enough. Your accommodation, you know, it can go two ways. You can either get fantastic flatmates that you will love and become best friends with instantly and it will be all good and dandy. Or you can not be so lucky and you'll just get a bunch of people you just do not get on with. And I'm, you know, I'm not gonna sugarcoat it here, you know, that's the reality. You're either gonna be very lucky or very unlucky or in between, you know, it's a lot to fate, I guess. In my case, I'm kind of like, eh, of all the people I live with. I mean, they're nice people, I get on with them, but then again, I get on with pretty much anyone, unless obviously they piss me off. We've had a few conflicts, obviously, as, as you do, you always will, and most of the conflicts will be about dirty dishes. You know, you always will have some kind of conflict, because you're putting a bunch of strangers together, who don't know anything about each other, that all have different habits, and you know, you, you can't expect them to all get on. So obviously there will be some conflict, it's just, you know, there have been more than just like, you know, issues with the dishes in my flat, but I'm not gonna get into it. So yeah, I think it's just because our flat was the, a last minute thing. As far as I know, a lot of people here book their flat last minute. And I think we were just a flat of people who just got thrown together randomly because it was the last places, um, which wasn't a very good combo. I mean, for starters, we have one boy and six girls living here. So, you know, but I'm sure we'll be fine. I'm sure you will find at least one flatmate who you like. Like, you know, I may not go in with the majority of the people I live with, or at least, you know, not be too friendly with. But I have one very good flatmate who I'm like very close friends with now, who I'm going to be living with next year. So it's all about adjustment. It's all about how you look at it. And it's all about what attitude you go into. Because like, if you go in, with an attitude of like, I'm not gonna make friends, like, it's gonna be crap, then obviously, you know, you won't magically have friends if you don't wanna make them. Or you will not get on with, the, with people if you don't have the attitude that you want to get on with people. But, you know, it, it will all be fine. Making friends is another thing. I've realized since I came to uni that I am worse at making friends than I thought. Because I always used to have a bunch of friends, you know, there was just always people to hang out with. And when I moved to uni, I only really have one or two friends. And it's just a really big shift from having a big group of friends to having just a couple. And to me it was very, I know I don't want to say heartbreaking, but it was a bit hard to adjust and still is. I'm trying to learn to be my own best friend, which is a topic for another video. but. In general, I don't really mind. Um, it was a bit hard at first, I am slowly got used to it. I have a lot of great friends from secondary school, from sixth form, that I still see quite often and I love them to death. And I mean, I FaceTime them a lot. You know, it's all about having a support system somewhere, whether it's close or whether it's far away, but they're always there for you. You'll be okay, you, you'll make some friends, at least one, you'll have someone, you won't be alone. Another thing to talk about, the workload. One of my friends from uni from my course used a very good example to describe the shift between secondary school and uni. And she basically said, you know like the dip between GCSE and A-levels? It's like the same dip or like, you know, the same kind of cliff edge you have to deal with. Uh, when you go from A level to uni because to be honest classes wise it's much less stressful you know you only really have to be in there when you have lectures and lectures aren't even compulsory but you know you should really go if you want to pass but they're not really compulsory at least at my uni and our seminars are compulsory but you know I spend the total of Last semester, I spend the total of maybe like a few hours, one hour lecture and one hour in seminar with some break in between, but in general, like two hours a day in actual lessons, which is amazing. You know, you have, in reality, you have so much free time, but at the same time, you are expected to do a lot. And I mean, I am one of those people who leaves everything to the last minute. You know, my friend Rachel can tell you, 
she sat with me for three days doing exam like exam papers and my essays and stuff like that because I just left it till the last minute which is not a good move you know first year I feel like you can afford it because in most cases they don't really count or did count like a very small and significant amount like for me it's 10% and I just really need to pass that's all I really want but for some people you know it's important to do well either way but the workload is it's more it's you have to do quite a lot of reading depending on your course for my course and I do media and sociology there is a bunch, bunch, bunch of reading and you have to watch some videos, you know, read articles and stuff like that, which can be a bit overwhelming and a bit tedious after a bit. But you get used to it or you just don't do it and then do it when you need to, which I did in some cases, which it was all right. I mean, I managed to write a 2000 word essay on a book I haven't read till I started writing that essay the night before. And I managed to get a 2 one in that, which, you know, I got very lucky, would not recommend it to anyone, like it's the most stressed I've ever been and as I mentioned recently in one of my videos, I've spent a whole like essay writing period the night before the essay was due, literally watching all of the second season of Jane the Virgin just simply because I could not be in a silent room, so I mean leaving things till the last minute is not very good, would not recommend you're stressing out so much, or at least I do, but I always do it so I know I can, but I'm definitely gonna have to stop that next year. But yeah, work-wise, you just, you just gotta adjust. It's all about adjustment, I think that's what I've learned this year. It's all about adjustment. You'll be okay. I go to uni in London and I am, um, you know, London is a big city, very easy to get lost in and if I haven't done anything stupid and hurt myself and gotten lost, I actually haven't gotten lost in London yet. I mean, I, I managed to walk from the American Embassy the other day to Oxford Circus, which probably isn't that far anyway. But I have like zero orientation of walking around London. So <laughs> I was very impressed by that. But anyway, it is all about learning. It's all about adjustment and you know, I feel like the first few weeks is the hardest and if you're doing a homesickness I feel like sticking through and staying in your halls and not going home that often during those few weeks will be the best. Just simply because you'll get used to it, you'll get used to being alone and you'll be fine. But yeah, the moral of this year is, um, friends are harder to make than you think, <laughs> for me at least and adjustment it's all about adjustment just give yourself time you'll be absolutely fine so overall my um my first year at uni was okay i am seen more of london than i thought i would i probably should start packing to go home now because i'm moving out next month kind of thing but am i gonna do it am i gonna do it that is the question but anyway guys, good luck with your exams because I think it's exam season still when I'm posting this. I'm not sure. <laughs> Someone is always writing exams. Well, good luck to you. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.